Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the GCSE further maths topic of multiplying algebraic fractions. So we've looked previously at simplifying algebraic fractions. We've had the trilogy on adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Now we're going to look at multiplying fractions. Now before we look at the algebraic fractions, let's just have a look at a numerical example. So if we had three quarters multiplied by one fifth, to multiply these, we would just multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. So we would do three times one is equal to three and four times five is equal to 20. So three quarters multiplied by one fifth is equal to three twentieths. And that's it. So to multiply fractions together, you just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Now, before we get started, one thing I wanna mention is that if you have, for instance, three eighths multiplied by four fifths, if we were to multiply these fractions together, we could do three times four is equal to 12 and eight times five is equal to 40. And then we could cancel that down because both the numerator and denominator are divisible by four. 12 divided by four is equal to three and 40 divided by four is equal to 10. So three eighths multiplied by four fifths is equal to three tenths. Now, if we were to have a look at this again, what we could do is rather than multiplying and then canceling down, we could cancel down before we multiply because we know that we're gonna do three times four and eight times five. So we can actually look at, now each of these individual fractions have been simplified, three eighths is simplified and four fifths is simplified, but we could actually look at the numerator and the opposite denominator because we know that we're gonna be timesing the two numerators together and the two denominators together. So we could look at the four and the eight and say, well, they're both divisible by four. So we could do eight divided by four is equal to two and four divided by four is equal to one. And then you could multiply together because three times one is equal to three and two times five is equal to 10. So it's possible to cancel down before you do the multiplication if you look at the numerator and the other denominator. Now you don't have to do that. You can multiply and then cancel down, but just to mention that you can. Okay, so let's have a look at some algebraic examples. It says simplify three X over four Y Z multiplied by two Y over five X. So if we were multiplying these together, we could multiply the numerators together, 3x times 2y, well, 3 times 2 is equal to 6, and then we can put the letters after that in alphabetical order, so it'd go xy. And then in terms of the denominator, we've got 4 times 5 is equal to 20. And then let's have a look at the letters. We've got y, z, and x, where we'll want to put those in alphabetical order, so that'll be x, y, and z. So we've multiplied 3x and 2y together, and got 6xy, and we've multiplied 4yz and 5x together, to get 20xyz. And now that we've multiplied, we can cancel down. So let's have a look at the numbers. 6 and 20 are both divisible by 2, so we could divide them both by 2 to get 3 tenths, so 3 on the numerator and 10 on the denominator. In terms of the x's, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by x, so they will cancel out. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by y, so they will cancel out, and then we'll be left with the z on the denominator. So we've got that's equal to, I'm just gonna get my rubber there, I'm quite a big line there. We've got that's equal to three over 10z, and that's it, that's our answer. So if we were given three x over four y z multiplied by two y over five x, the answer would be equal to three over 10z, and that's it. So that's one approach. Another approach I did say is you can cancel down before you multiply. So let's just have a look and see how we would do that. So if we were given these two fractions, if we wanted to cancel down before we multiplied, we'd have a look at each numerator and the other denominator. So if we look at this numerator and that denominator, they're both divisible by x. So we can divide that one by x and that one by x. Now, if we look at this numerator and this denominator, well, the two and the four, well, you can divide both of them by two to get one and two. And then we've got a y here and a y here, so we can divide both of them by y. So we've canceled down, now we just need to multiply. So on this numerator, we've got three. On this numerator, we've got one. Three times one is equal to three. And then in terms of our denominators, here we've got two z multiplied by five. And two z multiplied by five is equal to 10 z. And that's it, we've got three over 10 z. And that's it. So actually canceling down before you multiply can just make it a little bit easier. And because you know that you're multiplying the two numerators together and the two denominators together, you can actually cancel down the numerators with each of the other denominators before you times together. And that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question. Okay, so our next question says simplify 9xy over 10z cubed multiplied by 2yz squared over 15x. Okay, so we could multiply and then cancel down. I'm going to cancel down before we multiply. So 9 and 15 are both divisible by 3. So we can divide them both by 3 to get 3 and 5. The x and the x, we can divide both of them by x. They will become, they would both become 1s, but we don't need to write that. And then we're left with a y there. Now let's have a look at this numerator and that denominator. So we can divide them both by 2. So that's going to give us a 5 and a 1. 
Now, the y will just stay there. Now, let's have a look at the z's. We've got a z squared, a z cubed. So you can divide both of them by z squared, so that'll become a 1, and then that would just become a z. So that's fantastic. So we're left with, after we've simplified, we've got 3y on that numerator over 5z. And then in terms of this fraction, we've got 1y, so 1 times y, that's y, over 5. And then we can just multiply them. 3y times y would be 3y squared. And 5z times 5 is equal to 25z. And that's it. So the answer is 3y squared over 25z. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So next question, we've been asked to simplify 4 over x squared minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 over 7. Okay, so with GCSE further maths, you'll quite often get, whenever you're multiplying the fractions together, you'll have quadratics perhaps on the numerators or denominators, and you'll hopefully be able to factorise those and then do some cancelling down, and that'll hopefully then mean that you can simplify them. So if we have a look at this, this denominator can be factorised, it's a difference between two squares. That's video 120 in corporate maths, difference between two squares. So let's factorise this denominator first. So we'd have 4 over, and if you want to factorise this, you'd put bracket 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 you put an x at the front of both brackets and then the square root of one is one so a one and a one and one with a plus sign and one with a minus sign so if you were to factorize x squared minus one you get x plus one x minus one so we just factorize that denominator and then here we've got x minus one on the numerator and a seven there on the denominator now at this point you could then multiply and get four and then in brackets x minus one just putting them beside each other and then in terms of the denominator you could just put them all beside each other put the number at the front though so it gets seven and then in brackets x plus one and then x minus one like so so you could just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators and then at this point you could then simplify by dividing both the numerator and denominator by x minus one so that would leave you on the numerator four and on the denominator would be left with seven brackets x minus one so seven bracket x minus one which if you wanted to you could then expand that denominator to get four over seven x plus seven just multiplying out the bracket and that's it so that's one approach is to then multiply and then simplify or if you wanted to at this point here and I think this is actually quite nice. Whenever you're doing these questions, it's actually to simplify first and then multiply. So you can look at this numerator and this denominator and say, well, we could divide both of them by x minus 1. So if you did that, you'd get a 1 there on the numerator there. And that's a 1 there, but you don't need to write that 1 because you'd just be left with that bracket when you times it anyway. And now you could just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. And then here we've got x plus 1 times 7. So it's going to be 7 bracket x plus 1, just putting them beside each other. And then if you wanted to expand that denominator to get 4 and then over 7x plus 7. And that's it. So just to mention, whenever you're dealing with algebraic fractions in GCSE for over maths, you'll quite often have to factorize. And then you just then, after you factorize, then times them together and then simplify or simplify and then uh, times them together. Okay, let's take it to the next example. Okay, so this time we've got simplify x squared plus 7x plus 12 over 18 multiplied by 12 over 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. Okay, so here we've got two quadratics. Let's see if they factorize. So bracket, 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 bracket over 18 and then times by 12 over bracket, 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 bracket. So hopefully we'll be able to factorize this numerator and that denominator. So let's do that. So in terms of this numerator, it's x squared. So let's put an x at the front of our brackets. Then we're looking for two numbers at times together to be 12 and add together to be 7. So I'm thinking 4 and 3. So plus 4 and plus 3. So we factorize that numerator. Now let's have a look at this denominator. We've got 2x squared, so let's put a 2x and an x. We're looking for two numbers at times together to be minus 4. And whenever we then expand the brackets, we get a 7x in the middle. You could, if you want to, use the split in the middle technique, but I tend to just use inspection here. So I'm going to put the plus 4 over this side, because that will give us 8x when we times them together. And then the minus 1 there, because minus 1 times 4 will be minus 4. And when you expand those brackets, you'll get a 7x in the middle. So that's fantastic. We've now factorized. You could simplify before you multiply. So if we simplified first. We'd look at each of the numerators and the other denominators. So here, this numerator has got an x plus 4, and that denominator has got an x plus 4. So you could divide both of them by x plus 4. This numerator's got a 12, and this denominator's got an 18. They're both divisible by 6. So you could divide them both by 6 to get a 2 and a 3. And then you just times together. 2 times x plus 3 is 2 bracket x plus 3. And in terms of the denominator, 3 times that bracket would be 3, and then 2x minus 1. And that's it. And I probably would just leave it like that.
Okay, let's look at our next question. Now we've got three more examples. For the rest of the examples, I'm just going to simplify before you multiply, just because I think it's just a little bit easier. So let's do that. Okay, so this time we've got simplify x plus 1 over x plus 3 multiplied by x squared minus 9 over 5x plus 5. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize anything that could be factorized. So that's both the numerator and denominator of this fraction. So let's do that. So in terms of this numerator, that's a difference between two squares. We've got the difference and we've got two squared. So that'll be bracket, 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 x and x. And we'll square root the 9 to get 3 and 3 and put a plus sign and a minus sign. So factorize that. Now in terms of the denominator, we can just use basic factorization here. We can divide both of them by 5. So do bracket. So we could put a 5 outside the bracket and then divide both of them by 5 to get x plus 1. So that's fantastic. We've factorized both the numerator and denominator of that fraction. Now we can either times together and then cancel down, but I'm going to cancel down first. So to cancel down first, I'm going to look at each of the numerators and the other denominators. So we can divide this numerator and this denominator by x plus 1. So if we do that, that'll become 1, and then that'll just cancel out. Then let's look at this numerator and that denominator. They're both divisible by x plus 3, so let's divide that numerator by x plus 3 and that denominator by x plus 3, so I'll leave us with a 1 there. Okay, now let's multiply the numerators and let's multiply the denominators. So 1 times this bracket would just be the bracket, which is x minus 3. I don't need to write it in a bracket, there's nothing else there. And then in terms of the denominator, we've got 1 times 5, and 1 times 5 is equal to 5. So that's it, that's our answer, x minus 3 over 5. Okay, let's look at our next example. Okay, so our next one, we've been asked to simplify 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 over 8 multiplied by 6 over 9x squared minus 4. Okay, so let's factorize anything that can be factorized. So let's try this numerator and that denominator. So bracket, 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 bracket over 8. So it's 3x squared, so let's try 3x and an x. Now we want to find two numbers that times together to be minus 4, and whenever we put them in the brackets and expand, we get our 4x in the middle. Now I'm thinking of 2 and minus 2 here, so let's try plus 2 there and minus 2 there, because 3x times x is 3x squared, 3x times 2 would be 6x, minus 2x would be the 4x that we want, and minus 2 times 2 is equal to minus 4. So that's fantastic, we've factorised that numerator, and then in terms of this fraction, well the 6 will stay in the numerator, and then let's factorise this denominator, so bracket, 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 and we've got 9x squared minus 4, that's the difference between two squares. So we'll put 3x at the front of both brackets, a 2 after that, and one with a plus sign and one with a minus sign, because you can square root them both, and you've got the difference, so it's the difference between two squares. Okay, so we've now factorised, let's see if we can do any cancelling before we multiply. So I notice here we've got a 3x minus 2, and here's a 3x minus 2, so let's divide them both by 3x minus 2, so they'll cancel out. And here we've got a 6 and an 8, they're both divisible by 2, so that'll become a 3 and a 4. And that's it, so let's then multiply together. So we've got x plus 2 times 3, so that'll be 3, and then in brackets, x plus 2. And then here we've got a 4 multiplied by this bracket, so it'll be 4, and then in brackets, 3x plus 2. And actually here, nothing else can be cancelled down, so I would leave our answer like that. So the answer would be 3 bracket x plus 2 over 4 bracket 3x plus 2. And that's it. You could, if you wanted to, expand them to get 3x plus 6 on the numerator and 12x plus 8 on the denominator, but I would probably just leave it like that. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question, we've been asked to simplify x plus 6 over x squared minus x minus 12 multiplied by 2x minus 8 over x squared plus 6x. Okay, so let's factorize anything that can be factorized. So I'm noticing that this numerator can be factorized using basic factorization, just taking a 2 out. This denominator can be factorized, just taking an x out. And this quadratic can be factorized as well. So this x plus 6 will stay as it is. So let's leave that numerator as it is. Okay, so this denominator, it's a quadratic and it's x squared, so x and an x. The two numbers that we're looking for were times together to be minus 12 and add together to be minus 1. So I'm thinking minus 4, minus 4, and 3. Because minus 4 times 3 is minus 12, and minus 4 plus 3 is equal to minus 1. Okay, so that's the denominator factorised. Now let's have a look at this fraction. Let's take a 2 out here, so 2, and then in brackets. And if we divide them both by 2, we're going to get x minus 4. And then in terms of the denominator here, they're both divisible by x. So let's take an x out. And then we divide both of them by x to get x plus 6. And that's it. So we've factorised. Now let's see if we can cancel down before we times. So this numerator and this denominator, they can both be divided by x plus 6. 
So that will leave us with a 1 there and just an x on that denominator. This numerator and this denominator, they can both be divided by x minus 4. So that's fantastic. We've done all the cancelling down. Now let's do our multiplying. We've got 1 times 2. That's equal to 2. And then in terms of the denominator, we've got x plus 3 times x. So that'll be x bracket x plus 3. And that's it. And I would leave my answer like that. You could, if you wanted to, expand to get 2 over x squared plus 3x. Um, but I probably would just leave it like that. And that's it. And that's it. So this has been the GCSE Fever Maths topic of multiplying algebraic fractions. So to multiply algebraic fractions, you just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. It can be useful to try and factorize anything that could be factorized before you multiply. And actually, maybe even cancel down before you multiply as well. And that's it. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.